My name is Clive Doughty, I'm the guide um, on, on this trip. Uh, I'm a Kenyan, Kenyan citizen and we're going to Banjandegi Primary School to help out with the local community there and improve the school infrastructure. Children go out of school to search for water. These children coming from as far as 10 kilometers from the school. So if we get up water in the school, that will be a real thing yeah, for the whole school. My name is Cesar Selmeron. I've come from Melbourne, Australia to participate in a project renovating a community school. We are in a district called Lakipia. It's situated about six hours from Nairobi, Kenya. Projects like these are funded by World Nomads through the Footprints Network, while participants apply to physical labour. Right, basically here is um, our base design which we, we inherited from the school. And if we swing round over to here, this is Ikea Dol Dol 1. So this is our base design of what we're going to start to multiply. Now we've roughly got our design. Uh, we need to work out quantities. This afternoon we'll send a car, pick up the balance of the wood, and we're going to try and make about 15 of these. And that will be our, our goal over the next three days. 15 steady school desks that function. Currently, 50% of the Kenyan population is under the age of 12. And with 18 million people graduating within the next five years, educational infrastructure becomes highly important. The administration thought that it was wise for us to do a test, and not only one test, but several tests, so that uh, we can test our people who are about to do their national exam. They will be doing it by 12th November this year, that is 2007. When the new government took over from the previous one in 2002, so they started providing free primary education. So you can imagine somebody who did not cover class 1, class 2, class 2's work, 3's work, 4's work, comes to class 6 or class 7, simply because of their age, you see. You cannot take uh, somebody who is 20 years to class, to class 1, because those are children, he is, all, he is an adult. Their performance is not good, but by the end of the day you find that these pupils, even if they fail, they, they become literate. During our time at school, I met Robin Saleya, a 17-year-old boy who is about to complete his final year. Yeah, saying that Robin has been a pupil in this school from standard one, uh, now he's in standard eight. Uh, for the period he has been here, has, been, has portrayed himself as a good pupil, has expected a good character. If well assisted, is a boy with a very well promising life. And now that he is in standard eight, uh, and uh, waiting to do his KCP, the final exam, we are anticipating that uh, he will do well. Uh, what actually may hinder him from continuing with education is a home, home background, where, uh, as we get reports from home, we are not able to continue with education because of. Uh, financial constraints. So if uh, he can get assistance, as a boy who can uh, even go to up to university level in the Kenyan system. But uh, the way things are, if he's not assisted even after standard eight, he may not proceed because of uh, this uh, financial problem at the home. My mother is just uh, a farmer. 
but he's, and my father is just a, a farm who's a keeping just ketos. Yeah, I play for the team. This is known as the uh, Inmuran. Yeah. Or oh, Orius. Yeah. I woke every morning to come to school here. That's the This uh, the black one is known as Chui. And the the other one is uh, known as the tiger. Those, those, the, the young ones now are just, uh, just in the school now, but the other ones are, there are only three. Those were educated. You know, some pe some people will face these problems of paying this money to their children, and uh, because they, uh, they are very expensive. There are some that are about fifty thousand per term, so they are very expensive. But I would like to go to secondary school of the primary level. Meanwhile, renovations on the school continued with everyone contributing. Unless we can get the assistant to assist him, we are hopeful that he will be able to do well and continue his education up to the highest level in Kenya. Rosalia. He is one of the best people in class eight. Four or five of them, they score good marks. During this interview, I couldn't help noticing the little girl in the background in her bleak expression. She is deaf. She can't hear, in, when in class, she, she can't hear anything from the teacher. She'll just loiter around the compound, doing her own things. She Thank does you. nothing, she just attends the school. When the time to disperse, she goes home. Her name is Lucy. When she was born, she was born breech, which is considered a curse in Kenya, so she was put to the side. As a consequence of a mistreatment at birth, she lost most of her hearing ability. If she doesn't get a hearing aid within the next few years, her possibilities of being educated will vanish. She is not able. Even writing, she, she can write not, not many of the letters in the alphabet. A for flower, G for girl, A for their potentials just get lost. Not that they are not up right well academically, they are good. But since there is nobody to take care of them, uh, the potential just get lost just within the, 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 the community. Yes. But we are less uh, assistant. Uh, he is bright, he's a bright boy, he can do well. So here we are four days later, all the kids have lost the shyness. A few BPIs from our side. Uh, six classrooms painted, 23 desks made, a water tank fitted, administration block painted. We've done it. So it's good feeling all around and inside now we have the market going on. So the real business of trading is restarted. Lots of happy kids and it's raining, water tanks filling up. Couldn't be a better end. I'd like to be a journalist. His future life. He'll be a better person in this area. <laughs>